Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Oh, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got four images here. They're just regular images. If you click on them, they're going to pop out into a light box. But we're going to show you how to add a title or a bit of text over the top of them. You can just have it like that. Or we can do it with a hover effect right here. Really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but it's very easy. Let's enable the Visual Builder and get started. OK, well, let's start a new row and we'll start from scratch. I'll pop a little row in between these two here, a little green button for a row. I'll add two columns as that's what I've got in the other ones. And let's go down and add a Divi image module. Let's go and grab an image. And let's grab that one. Okay, we've got a regular image here. You can choose whether open it in a light box or put a link in there and both will still work when we do this today. Now what we've got to do to create a little title, come over the top of our image, is go over to the advanced, down to the custom CSS. We're going to be using a pseudo element. We've got before and we've got after. I'm going to actually use the after today. So just click in there till you've got a cursor. And we want to add content, so I'm going to say content. And then I'm going to open and close some inverted commas there. Inside there, we can write what we want. Now, nothing's really shown up there yet. It will do when I give it a position. Put a little semicolon on the end. Always put a semicolon on the end, or it won't read the next line of text. Let's just make that lowercase right there. I need to tell it it's got a position of absolute. So it's going to stay where we put it. And I'll put this code down below for anybody that wants to copy and paste. Now we've got to tell it where we actually want it. Well, let's put it in the middle to start with, then we can move it around. So I'm going to say top 50%. And it's actually at the side right there. And I'm going to say left 50%. And there it is. And the left corner of that is actually the 50 and 50. 50% 50 top, 50% left. So we want it to be right in the middle of this, right in the center. So we have to use a bit of transform translate to center this. So let's do that. Transform, translate. Open and close some round brackets right on the end of there. And we want to do it negative 50% of the height and negative 50% of the width. So I'm going to say negative 50%. I'm going to put a comma in there. And I'm going to say negative 50% for the width as well. And that's pulled it right back so that's dead central in our image right there. Fantastic. Well, if you want to, you can choose a font family for it by font family. And put in whatever font family you want. I'm going to leave mine on the default today, so I'm not going to put that in there. But I will give it a color and a size. So let's say color. I'm going to make mine white, which is FFF in CSS3. That's a bit better. And I'll make it a bit bigger in size. So we'll say font size. Let's make mine say 20 pixels. Obviously, make yours the size that you want. That's a bit better. We could bold it out if you wanted to bold it out. If you want to make it bold, you can say font weight, bold. And if the font supports it, it's going to pop out like that. That's a bit better. But on a busy picture, you might find that that gets lost in there. That's OK in that particular case. But we can give it a background. So let's give it a background. And I'm just going to give it a black background, which is three zeros. And you can't see anything there because we've not actually given it a height. So we can do that by adding a little bit of padding. Let's add some padding. And we'll say padding. We'll give it 15 picks by, say, 10 picks. And as you can see, that's given it padding all around. Adjust to taste there, obviously, if you want it thicker or bigger, make it larger there 
that's going to make it taller for you and here is going to make it wider I'm happy with the way we were there okay but that's mm, a little bit too much really I mean it's doing the job if we've got a busy picture you're still going to be able to read that but it's a little not subtle so let's make it a little bit more subtle so what I'm going to do is add the other three zeros to our black there because black's actually six zeros but with CSS3 you only have to put three so I'll add the other three and then I'm going to add on the end a five and a zero and that will take the opacity down for us so it's not quite as in your face there but you can still read it great well let's perhaps move this down here so we can see more of the image so to do that rather than having it top 50% in the middle let's say 90% perhaps and that takes it down the bottom you can adjust it a bit more if you want say 92% and then just put it where you want it and then that's it once you've done one you can copy paste on any of your images and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment but we can do the same thing and have a hover effect so it only appears when they hover over it so let's just duplicate this or you can copy the code whichever works easiest for you I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to drag one over it doesn't matter which one because they're both identical we'll go into our second one here let's switch out that image let's perhaps have that one and we can go into our advanced custom CSS remember we're in our after element change this to red and we've got it changed out there and you can rinse and repeat and do that as much as you want occasionally if you put a lot of text in there you're gonna find you've got a bit of a problem so let's say red sky over Rocky Mountains and you may have noticed hit a right mess there because we haven't quite got enough space to counter that if you've not got enough space there's two ways you can go about it you can just give it a line height so when it breaks with the width there it'll put it on a new line let's bring this back up to 50% so you can see what I'm saying exactly I'm going to give it a line height it doesn't really matter where you put it let's say line height I know my font's 20 pixels tall so I'm going to make the line height say 25 pixels so we'll have a 5 pixel gap in between and that's going to split it up if you want it all in the middle we can write text align center as you see we've got that in the middle now and you can add as much as you want every time it breaks it'll center your text for you and then you can readjust and put it back down to where you want it by just hitting that top it's not going to work with a double line let's say 80 percent however you want to do it like that but I'm actually happy with the way it was if you want that all in one line we well, can give it a, a bigger width so let's say width 90 percent and that'll fit in one line there because we've given it 90% of our area here before it actually breaks into two but that's entirely up to you let's pop that back to 92 or whatever it was before fantastic okay what if we want to just see this though when we hover over it we don't we just want to see the image initially well let's copy a couple lines of our code here I'm gonna want the color and I'm gonna want the background so I'm going to copy from the color to the background control C I'm going to roll up here and this is common to all Divi modules if you roll up over the dark writing within a module you'll see some little icons appear if there's a little arrow we can set a hover state now we've got desktop when the mouse is not on it and hover when the mouse is on it if I click on the hover state now it's kind of grayed out code there telling you that it's code in the desktop state but not for the hover state so I'm going to paste what we've just copied here in the hover state don't need the size because we're not changing that and I don't need the font weight bold because we're not changing that I'm going to leave those just exactly like they are now I'm going to go back to the desktop state and I'm going to take the color I'm going to change that to transparent 
as you can see it's disappeared or as you can't see it's disappeared and our 50 that made our background opaque I can take that down to a zero or you could write transparent there as well so if I put zero zero in there it's fully transparent so you don't see it but when we hover over it it's going to come back just like that now the time it takes to get from desktop to hover state when you're doing it with code like this is instant I want to slow mine down for a bit of grace so I'm going to add a bit of transition duration so let's put a semicolon on there and we're going to say transition dash duration and let's say 0.7 of a second 0.7 s for 0.7 seconds now it's going to take almost three quarters of a second to go from desktop to hover state well let's save this and make sure it's all going to work and like I say don't forget I'll put all this code down below the video for anybody that wants to copy and paste it let's save our changes now we'll save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder and here's our first little image right here if I click on it it'll pop into a light box or take people to whatever link you want and we've got our little title right there our second one the red sky don't see anything until we hover over it when we hover over it it's gonna pop in there and again I've got this one opening in a light box so there you have it that's a great little effect if you've not got millions of photos on your site it's a really easy way of adding text over the top of it now we've got a little when I hover over we got the orange cloud which is actually the name of the picture itself in there if you want to get rid of the picture if you want to get rid of that popping up every time you hover over it let's go back in there quickly if we go into any of these and we go over to the advanced here's the attributes there's what you're actually seeing there it's the image title text if you don't want to see it when you hover over it you can simply select it delete it now if I save this save the page changes and exit the builder again and we go down we hover over this one that little title is no longer there if I hover over another one you'll see that little title appear so if you want to get rid of the image title when you do that that's the way to do it so there you go guys there's some little text over image hover effects for you and a regular effect there that you can apply to any image you can actually apply that to any module if you need to so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful don't forget the code is below the video you're welcome to copy paste it use it however you wish i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day